A veteran Eastern baseball team took a business-like approach to winning the program's first national championship in 1982. And if a movie is ever made to chronicle that season, senior captain Dennis Glenn should be portrayed as the organization's chief executive officer. A hard-nosed competitor who approached the game intensely and professionally, Dennis arrived at Alumni Field already possessing a polished baseball pedigree. By the time he departed, he had played and started more games at second base than anyone in program history and served as a team captain and gained All-America honors as a senior in 1982 when the Warriors won their first national championship. And to the credit of this prototypical second baseman, Dennis remains the only player in head coach Bill Holowaty's tenure to start at that position for four years. In his career, the durable six-foot, 180-pounder played at 177 of a possible 182 games, 128 of them coming in succession, and demonstrated his ability to hit for both average and power by getting swings in every spot in the batting order, with the exception of the first and last positions. In 21 NCAA postseason tournament games in his career, Dennis made just two errors on 131 chances for a fielding percentage of 985 and graduated as the program's all-time leader with 421 assists, a record that would stand for 19 seasons. Dennis helped the Warriors average 33 wins a year and qualify for postseason play each season and during the 1982 National Championship season helped them to a record 21 straight wins, a mark that would stand until the year 2003. As a second team All-America on a roster filled with current and subsequent All-America players in 1982, Dennis led a vaunted offense in six categories, finished just one percentage point behind the team batting leader, and accumulated more than 100 assists for the third straight season. In eight postseason games during the national championship season, Dennis batted 316 with three doubles and five walks and handled 47 chances at second base with only two errors. My name is John Risley and I am the presenter for Dennis Glenn, a baseball player at Eastern from 1979 through 1982. My early recollection of Dennis was during the mid-70s when he played baseball for New London High School and American Legion Baseball where he led his teams to state championships and New England championships while still in high school. He played second base for Eastern from 79 to 1982 where during his senior year he captained the 1982 Division III baseball championship team. He was a starter at second base for four years and established some outstanding performance records. What I personally remember best was his fielding with 421 assists but only 24 errors. And also while hitting third in the lineup, he, he had a 332 batting average, including a career high of 26 home runs. Well, his consistency speaks for itself. He was uh, four years, uh, uh, what made Dennis was he's a quiet player. He just came to the ballpark. He was a professional player, I should say, is that he came to the ballpark, put his uniform on, and played hard. And, but you never notice it. He wasn't flashy. Uh, he went to his classes and did his job in the class the same way. Uh, never noticing him, but at the end, the results were just outstanding. Uh, besides being uh, a great second baseman, he's a great leader. Uh, he was a tough competitor, a vicious competitor uh, that wasn't yelling and screaming, but just the way he played the game. Uh, we have a picture in the office of uh, uh, Dennis turning a double play and this guy coming down on him, Fagan, coming down on him, and he stayed right in there and threw the ball and got the double play. Uh, he was a vicious competitor, a uh, great person, uh, and just played the game very professionally. Two things I liked off the hand about Dennis. One, he was a great leader. He was a quiet leader, and he had that good off the field behavior, as well as on and practicing games. He was a natural leader. He didn't have to say a lot, but his baseball told it. He told it in his deeds, in his leadership. Uh, statistics, they show a lot. I know Dennis is high on some of the listed statistics, but as a coach, I'm not big on all that. I'm much bigger on the character of the individual, and Dennis was as fine a student athlete as come through Eastern in any sport. I would rate him right up there with the top five or six best players. And I know there's been players past and some present that end up to be a player of the year or first team All-America, but Dennis, when you look at his four years of accomplishment, and what the record and his leadership 
it stands out. When he came up for the vote, he was just the first vote ballot all the way because you look at his accomplishments and you see that they rate right up there with the top half dozen who've ever played. He was a complete student athlete on some great baseball teams. Once again, I don't think it, it, it would stand out in flowers and, and roses and everything else. What he contributed was just tough nose play. And uh, his toughness carried over the guys, you know, to the Ray Glias, uh, to the Bunky McGovros, to the Tommy Reynolds, that whole group of kids players were just outstandingly competitive, hard-nosed players. They put their uniform on and, and they played the game hard. Uh, again, I think Dennis was the ringleader of it. Dennis set the example of it and uh, just was a, a vicious, hard-nosed competitor. That probably wasn't the most talented second baseman we had, but he was probably one of the best second baseman we had by his professionalism, his knowing of the game, his running bases, his handling of the game every way. When you look at Dennis's baseball career at Eastern, it is easy to see why the selection committee chose him on the first ballot. It is both a joy and an honor to present Dennis Glenn to you as a member of the class of 207 Eastern Connecticut State University Hall of Fame.